finish. I'm the number one DJ. Whoa, all idiots go. Down the hills and round the world. Dennis and friends. Meldock's noisy day. Meldock is the Obama's Worries main express engine. The biggest engine the world has currently. Back on Sodor, and during most of his life, he used to pull goods trains. But since his class was also good at pulling pasture trains, when Obama brought Meldock from the burnt down Sodor railway, Meldock was put onto express duties. He was a, he's a very good keeper of a strong engine, and is the fastest and strongest engine the railway has. Although, the one thing he hates is noise. JESUS CHRIST! He prefers peace and quiet though. Unfortunately, Mail Dock is really a temperate engine. And this was no example of for one morning at, at the cringe sheds. He was getting ready for the early morning run, for the first run of the express. The logging locals were there, however, and they were annoying him. A, B, C, D, E, F, G! Oh my god, can you please shut the hell up? Q, R, S, SHUT UP! Do you- I know you three came from a logging where or wherever the hell it was from, but do you three know anything about getting peace and quiet? No. You live in the forest where we do. Surely there was like animals and peace and all that stuff. Quietness. All the animals were dead. What? We ate them. You did what? Yeah, we ate them for, for like breakfast, dinner, midnight suppers, everything. Though most of them got crushed by throwing logs. By a wheezy and all hee haw. What the actual hell? No, I'm just gonna go to work. I'm just gonna go to work. Meldock puffed into Wiggly Worm Station while Tubby, the yard's pilot engine, was getting his coaches ready. Tubby, can you please hurry up? I, I don't want to be standing around all day. However, uh, Tubby was humming to himself. Tubby, Tubby, can I please have my coaches? Tubby. Tubby. Tubby, Tubby, the express is going to be late. Tubby! Tubby soon got out of his singing zone. Oh, how dare you, he said crossly. I hope you explode. And he pulled the coaches into the station. Mail Doc was so cross with all the noise that everyone was making today, he pulled Tubby out of the station. Meldock thundered down the line. Oh, great, now thanks to Tubby delaying me, he said. I have to make up for more bloody time now. Meldock raced through Cringe Station, where Splatter and Dodge were. Oh, hey, look, it's it's Angry Grandpa. No, stupid. It's Meldocker. What the hell is Meldocker? Go and see some help, you two! Jesus Christ, you get on my nerves at times! Why is everyone bothering me today? Ah. <sighs> what the God?! Why is there an opera band singing on the edge of the bridge? Jesus Christ. Meldock pulled into to Macaroni Station, well, where Trade Diesel was, where goods train. Oh, you look angry, they Trey, I do not want to hear it. Hear about what? I do not want to hear all about the rant you got about the railway, especially anything if, if Ari has told you today. I swear, I have a high feeling you and Ari are gay. Trey didn't know what to say as Mel Dog's guard whistle blew. 
I'll leave you and Harry to have some time alone, shouldn't I? And Murdoch puffed away. Murdoch thundered down the line as fast as he could. Finally, he said. Now I'm back on schedule. Now nothing else is going to happen to me. Hey, what's that noise? What the? Look, I didn't mean to run them over. They were playing the Nintendo Switch, like, in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there was Spiteful Break Van, who wasn't always to wanted to kill himself. There was Piper, who barely does know anything. Glenn, he's an old man, so he has nowhere to go. And Charlie, well, Charlie, I don't know, he's, a, he's just insane, really. Look, I did not mean to run them over. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just having having a bad day. I don't like, I don't like the sound of noises, alright? Is there anything you can do to cheer me up or, I don't make me feel better? Well, perhaps there is one thing I can tell you. What's that? Back on the Great West, though, Montague, I swear to God, I am this close to actually killing you. Oh, don't say that now, Meldoc. Or else, you will put, put that all in, in, in your dead body collection. Montague, I swear to God. Anyways, I have brought in someone to help you. And who's that? Hello! Oh, come on! Why bring in all the energy you could have bring? You have to bring him! 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 Reasons, Meldoc. Cheap. Exactly, Montague. So, Meldoc, what's been bothering you? Oh, you know what's been bothering me, Dennis? I'll tell you then, everyone's been on my bloody nerves all day, especially all your friends. Like Charlie, for instance. He and, and three other engines, one being a Rolling Stock, decided to chill on the main line to be run over and playing the Nintendo Switch, playing bloody Mario Kart. And oh yeah, your lucky local pals think they're back in, back in like, I don't know, kindergarten. Then... And I, and I have a high suspicion that your good friends, Ari and Trey, are gay. Hmm. It sounds like you'd be having an awful day. Oh, yeah. And, and your pals, uh, Splatter and Dodge, were they? Ah, uh, yes. Um, they got no sense of rhyme. And you want to talk to Tubby as well, Dennis. Because he's, I don't know, I think Tubby's on drugs. Hmm. A lot of things certainly been bothering you, hasn't it? Yes, they have, Dennis. It's... And what are you going to tell me, me to do then? Just calm down, you ang you big, tall, angry man. I swear, Murdoch, you got anger problems. You're like an angry goat. What did you just call me? You're an angry goat. Right, that's it, Dennis. You and me, outside now. Dennis, I think it's time to put him to sleep. You're right, Montekill. Murdoch, get ready to pay for your consequences. Wait, what? Oh! Huh? Where am I? Mel Doc, I got a bone to pick with you! Oh, Obama, sir. Uh, now, Mel Doc, what's this behavior I've been hearing about all day? I have to get fun around to take over the express for you. I'm sorry, sir. It's just, well. Don't worry. I know how you can explain this, Mel Doc. The narrator shall take over. Wait, what? Let's do a cutscene. Wacka 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 See? Done. I didn't get an entire sentence there. So, so Mel Doc told Obama what happened. Obama, however, was not really too pleased with this. Mel Doc, I am certainly not happy with your behavior. I understand you prefer peace and quiet. Even though you woke up to a bad day, but there's no need to be rude to everyone else. In fact, you're the most rudest engine on this railway, to be honest. Therefore, you're going to be taking a chill tablet, what, to calm all your anger down, and maybe I will send you to anger classes where you can calm down your temper. What? But so? Well, Doc, do you want to push me? Do you actually want me to go even higher with your stakes? So, cause I know, know that just I know that um, Elton John is in town and no, 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 sir. I'd be a good boy. I'd be a good boy, sir. Honestly, please don't bring Elton John to the sheds. 
good. Well, Dennis has saved the day again. Oh, that's not fair. I could have saved the day. Shut up, Montague. No one wants to hear your excuses. Yeah, that's right. You shut up, Montague. Yes, please shut up, Montague. Montague was sad. Oh, man. Why did I agree to appear in this entire season?